What's up everybody, how's it going? Today was gonna be the demo of this uh, Black Graffiti Epiphone Les Paul Modern. Um, sadly, it has to go back to the store. Uh, upon uh, playing, I know the strings are all floppy right now, I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, upon playing it and uh, not messing with it, I've only had it for maybe a few days. Uh, three things. One, I don't think the saddles are that's what I'm looking for. File down properly. Whenever I go to bend anything on the E or the B string past the 15th fret, if I go up to the 17th fret, it just completely chokes out. Just spit it away, Jesus Christ. <laughs> it completely chokes out. And that's on these two strings. So that tells me something's wrong here. I, I'm hoping, and I'm hoping, I'm guessing. I don't think it's the frets because I've had guitars when frets sprout up and they don't make the note past a certain thing. Um, so there's that. Uh, two, the nut is not even. It is cocked to the left slightly. I can actually feel right here the, the neck joint, uh, or not neck joint, the slot where uh, the nut fits, so it's sticking out a bit. Um, I don't know if I can actually get this on uh, film or not. Uh, probably not because it's glossy, but the neck has a crack in it, sadly. And it's right, it goes from the first fret pretty much down to halfway through the second fret. So it's going back. I'm not gonna um, put money into fixing it. It's just easier just to get a refund. Um, I wanna give a shout out to Zounds uh, Music Store. I think they're out in New York or New Jersey, something like that. Um, you go to their site, because it should tell me where they're at. Um, where are you guys locally? Uh, uh, why can't I find out where you're at? <laughs> anyway, whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, they're cool. I called them literally just like a half hour ago and said, hey, here's what's up. I want request, request. Ah, I can't even talk right now. <sighs> give me a refund. <laughs> I didn't say it like that, but give me a refund. So this is going back, sadly. Uh, kind of bummed because when I did just simply play it, it played great. It actually stayed in tune really well. Um, yeah, I guess I'll just go over the specs really quick. It's a maple top, mahogany body, mahogany body with a cool cutaway, mahogany neck, ebony fretboard, rover locking tuners, and uh, it's got push pull for the neck and bridge, and then an out of face switch for the neck only. Um, yeah, oh well. Uh, you guys may have seen in a short video the last one, or maybe even um, another short, uh, I just bought some Seymour Duncan. Uh, JB and Jazz hot rodded set and the Stargazer cover that was gonna go in here, not anymore. So the quest continues for another black guitar because I don't think those pickups will look good in uh, my current uh, Les Paul because it's cherry burst. That's gonna look weird. And if I get a white guitar, that's gonna stand out like a sore thumb. I have my eye on this uh, LTD uh, solid black uh, with white binding that I might get. Um, Stay tuned for that. Either way, the pickups are staying. I'm definitely not going to get rid of those. Those are amazing. So I'll find something to put them in. But yes, this is sadly going back. So that's the video, guys. Uh, hit subscribe and that bell. And hopefully with the next uh, maybe week or two, uh, I'll get another black guitar. I, do, I just I want a black guitar. I like black guitars. I know I have an Epiphone and a Strat, but I want something that looks uh, sleek and is lightweight for live. That's another video. So anyways, guys, hit subscribe and that bell, and we'll see you.